Hey everybody and welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. Penny stocks can be really exciting but they can also be really dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. You want to have a plan. You know, plan your trade and trade your plan as they say and that's a pretty good saying especially with penny stocks because yes they're cheap but they're also volatile they're risky they make big moves to the upside sure that's the fantasy right that you'll make a hundred percent returns in a day or a week or something like that but you can also lose a hundred percent of your investment very quickly with penny stocks so please be aware of that so there are certain things that you want to look for and this is not a complete or comprehensive list but just a few starter pointers for you uh, for one thing you want to look at the volume you want to make sure that there are enough shares available to buy and sell at a good price because first of all uh, when there are not a lot of shares traded like on any given trading day if there's let's say only a dozen shares traded or maybe uh, 20 shares traded or even 50 something like that that's not very many and what's going to happen is the bid ask spread you know the difference between the bid price and the ask price it's probably going to be very wide and so you're going to get ripped off a little bit when you buy it and then ripped off a little bit again when you sell it and when I say a little bit, maybe not a little bit, you might get ripped off a lot both ways. Okay, so you'll already be at a huge disadvantage. Uh, so if the volume, if the trading volume is very low, then you might not even want to touch it uh, as far as a particular penny stock. Uh, also, you want to look at the charts. Uh, you know, it might be a penny stock for a reason. Like, for example, if a stock used to be over $100 a share, or, or even more than $50 a share. And then it went down and down and down and now it's a penny stock. Well, that's telling you something. I mean, I know it's cheap, but if something just keeps going down and down and down over the long term, month after month, year after year, uh, that could be the sign, that could be a red flag, it could be a sign of a company that's really in trouble, all right? And so that's not buying a dip, that's catching a falling knife, as they say. Uh, I like buying dips and all in great companies that have a tendency to recover from dips time, time and again. Uh, but if the chart is, uh, if the long term chart I'm talking about is just consistently downwards, uh, that's not good. So pull back the chart. Don't just look at the, you know, the, the one day chart or the one week chart. Uh, you can look at those, that's fine, but also pull back the chart. Look at the overall trend and uh, make sure that it's not a falling knife as they say all right because uh, there's usually a good reason why it's so cheap in that case uh, now not all penny stocks are bad and they're not all bad companies i mean take hecla mining hecla mining uh, ticker symbol hl uh, technically that's a penny stock because the sec securities and exchange commission defines a stock under five dollars per share as a penny stock right penny stock even though it's not really a, a penny uh, but you know hecla mining is an example of a what i think is a pretty good company they've been around for a long time and it's a mining company and uh, you know it, just because it's under five dollars a share that doesn't make it a bad company at all necessarily I mean you have to make your own decision on any particular company whether it's good or not and so of course you're doing your research doing your due diligence uh, other things to think about uh, we talked about the volume I mean volume is also important because uh, the volume can be very very thin especially if a penny stock is going down fast all right you might not even be able to find somebody to buy your shares I mean that's pretty scary you you pay money for stock shares of a penny stock and then if the thing tanks if it goes down fast there will be probably sellers probably a lot of sell probably a lot of sellers people are dumping their shares panic selling as they say but then you if you want to sell your shares you might not even be able to find somebody willing to buy them when there's panic selling going on and so uh, just another reason to look at the volume make sure it's sufficient make sure that your broker 
uh, has the ability to uh, locate uh, buyers and sellers. You want to have a good broker, uh, a broker perhaps that specializes in or at least is good with penny stocks. Make sure that, you, that your broker has a good reputation with uh, buying and selling penny stocks on your behalf. When you uh, give them an order to buy or sell, make sure they can execute or fill that order quickly and that they can find shares and find buyers and sellers of that penny stock. Uh, another thing to think about, some people want to short or short sell penny stocks. I think that's a dangerous idea. I do not recommend it uh, for most people uh, because when you short sell a penny stock, I mean, yes, a penny stock can go down 100%, but it can go up 100%. In fact, it can go up more than 100%. The most that a stock can go down percentage-wise is 100%. can't go down more than 100%, but it can go up more than 100%. If a stock doubles, then it's up 200%. If it trip if it triples, it's up 300%, okay? So you can you can actually end up owing your broker more money than you have in your account, okay? You can lose a lot of money including money you don't even have. Uh, so short selling penny stocks, I, I don't recommend it for most people. Uh, so if you're thinking about doing it, be very careful or better yet just you don't have to do it at all, all right? Uh, other considerations with penny stocks, uh, you want to see if the stock has a, a history, okay? Uh, if the stock, if the company hasn't been a around long enough to even have a, a history, I mean, you want to be able to have a chart where you can see how it's performed uh, month after month, or better yet, year after year. Uh, you want to know that this company is here to stay. Uh, a lot of penny stocks represent startups, and a lot of startups fail. Uh, I'm not saying you have to reject a company because it's new. You know, there are exceptions to every rule, okay? Uh, but please be careful. I mean, look at what happened uh, to people. If you want an example of a startup, and this is not a penny stock, but, uh, you know, look at the, look at the charts of, uh, you know, Uber, uh, you know, Lyft, uh, companies like that. Um, you know, a lot of people bought uh, right after the IPO of those startup companies. And, you know, they peaked very quickly and then they went down. They went down hard. And so, uh, you know, new companies can be risky. There's, a, there's risk involved there uh, compared to a stock that's in a company that's been around for a long time and has a history. All right. And there are fairly inexpensive stocks out there. Uh, look at Ford, ticker symbol F. Okay, Ford stock is not super expensive. It's not a penny stock. But it's not extremely expensive, uh, or like I like I said, Hecla Mining. You know, I think it's a pretty good company, and uh, the shares are, you know, just because a company is good doesn't mean it's cheap, and just because a company is expensive uh, doesn't mean it's good. Okay, <laughs> uh, I know that's a mouthful there. It's a lot to a lot to take in, but hopefully these tips will be helpful to you. Uh, and with penny stocks. You know, if you're using stop losses, which is probably a good idea with penny stocks most of the time, uh, respect your stop losses. Don't just guess and go. Don't just hope for the best because hope is not a real strategy for traders and investors. Uh, so whatever safety rules you have, uh, you have to enforce them even more with penny stocks. So like with McDonald's stock, uh, Disney stock, something that moves slowly, you want to have your safety rules in place, sure. But with something that moves quickly, like most penny stocks do, whatever safety rules you have, you really want to watch those safety rules even more closely and enforce them even more uh, because, again, they're going to be movers, probably. All right. Uh, so you got to watch it more often. And uh, if you use stop losses, really respect those stops, okay? And know what your profit target is ahead of time. Uh, because, you know, if something can turn around at any moment uh, and you didn't take your profit, then your profit can quickly turn into a loss. All right, I hope these were helpful to you. And you don't have to trade penny stocks at all, by the way. If all this sounds kind of scary to you and you'd rather just stick with uh, safer stocks, that's okay too, all right? There's nothing wrong with that. Making money slowly is perfectly fine because through the power of compounding and reinvesting, uh, you can actually make pretty good money over time. 
All right, so uh, if you want some help putting together a plan for your trading or investing, I do offer coaching. You can email me for the coaching at davidmodell at gmail.com. Hey, thanks for watching and listening. I'll talk to you again soon. It feels like I only go backwards, baby. Every part of me says go ahead. I got my hopes up again.